Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for another, I believe, Canadian shave. Let me just double check. I'm sure this is a Canadian company as well. Does it say anywhere on here? Let me have a look. No, it's not. It's not a Canadian company. I don't think. This looks like Illinois. I think it's Illinois. I think he sent me this because I love the scent. This was sent from Sean Mullen over at Moyle Grooming. And it is the Sudsy Soapery Cola with Russell Clay. Now, I test lathered this in this bowl with this brush I'm using today and I got an amazing lather from it. Now it looked like there's a little bit of grit and stuff through it and I think that's most likely the clay. So probably not the best for blade longevity but really nice smelling soap and it made a lovely lather. So what I've done is I've scooped out a bit, I've popped it into the bowl as you can see there all around the edge of the bowl. I've just wet my brush which is the brush guy brush from Matt Martin over in the States. You can no longer buy these brand new. It doesn't make them anymore. So if you get your hands on one second hand, you're doing well. Very comfortable brush, super ergonomic, probably the most ergonomic brush I own or have ever owned. Very, very comfortable. So straight into the bowl with a damp brush and then I'm just going to add water as I go. Now this stuff took quite a lot of water in the test ladder. Quite a lot. I was really surprised. It went very, very aerated and I thought, ooh, it doesn't look like it's going to be very good, this stuff. And then all of a sudden it just sort of came together with the more water that I added. So you can see there how airy that is. I know it's, I've just literally just started, but it was like that for ages. And then all of a sudden I had this lovely, thick, voluminous, creamy lather. Now, I'm not the best bowl lathering person. If you watch the channel, you know that. But I do my best. And I do enjoy pulling this bowl out every now and then. This is probably my favourite bowl lathering brush as well. Even though it's amazing to hold for face lathering, the boss knot that's in here just seems to work well for bowl lathering. It's quite a, it's a reasonably dense synthetic knot, but it does have the sort of properties of a natural hair badger brush. I must have left a lot of water in the brush when I started this one because I'm not far away from having a great lather already. As you can see, it's starting to build up, it's starting to thicken up, it's starting to get really creamy. I'm just going to dip the tips. Dip them again. The good thing I find with these high quality artisan soaps is they're very, very hard to over hydrate, they're very hard to, to ruin the lather. You can under hydrate them and they'll still provide a shave, a good shave. If you overhydrate them, they won't. You'll lose the slickness, you'll lose the, the protection, the cushion. You'll lose all that if you overhydrate. But these are so hard to overhydrate, they just keep building and building and creating an amazing lather all the time. Now, I am no Don Young. I'm pretty sure Don over at Wet the Face would be pretty chuffed with that. <laughs> Scent strength's great, scent strength, it does smell like, oh, fucking shat myself then. It does smell like cola. But it's sort of along the lines of Maya. It, it's got a little bit more going on in there, there's a little bit of spice, it's probably somewhere more along the lines of like a Dr Pepper sort of scent, which Maya is as well now, the more I smell it, you can get that little bit of Dr Pepper from it. not sure how, and that still looks pretty aerated, but I'm going to go with that. You can see all the peaks there. Looks phenomenal. So we'll wet the face. Now, I've got 24 hours growth. I have to tell you that it doesn't look or feel like I've got 24 hours growth. I don't know what's happened. It's like my hair hasn't grown overnight or hasn't grown since yesterday. So here we go. The brush is absolutely chockers with the lather. There's still about the same amount in the bowl, maybe a little bit more. I've just had a shiver, so I'm not too worried about beating my face to death with a face lather. It's a really dense, heavy, creamy lather. The scent's beautiful, really nice. It is a very sort of, it's not a Coca-Cola as in the brand Coca-Cola scent. 
it's more like a a Coca Cola sweetener, a chewy bar or something like that. It smells like that. Doesn't smell like fizzy cola bottles, like Wickham Club Cola does. It's got its own unique cola scent, and it smells absolutely beautiful. And I tell you what, the lather is sensational. This lather is exceptional. For bowl lather, I don't normally get a good bowl lather. If I'm honest, that is one of the best I've pulled out of a bowl in a long, long time. <laughs> right, the blade for today. I used the Derby X-Ray yesterday. I'm going to give this a bad boy a go. The Derby Premium, which comes in a little plastic packet, looks like that. It's very nicely packaged. These blades. They're not very expensive. They're not much more expensive than Derby X-Rays, if I'm honest. I haven't had the best of shades with these. I really haven't. They've not been that great. And that's what the blade itself looks like. Turn it around that way so you can see. So according to this, you've got chromium, ceramic, platinum, tungsten and polymer coated edges. That's a lot of shit on edges. So it generally tends to say to me that it's going to be a little bit rough for the first few strokes. Once you get that edge sort of smoothed out that's on the other coating, it'll then smoothen out the blade itself. What a lovely ladder. So slammed straight into the carved Christopher Bradley razor. C plate with a 0.85 blade gap, very mild but very efficient and I, I just think it's an awesome shaver. So here we go with the Derby Premium. Now like I said, that first, I don't know how many strokes will take a while, you need to break that coating down. still very very smooth but I can feel that it's slightly rough I can, can't describe it it's because of the coating that they put on these blades that you get that first normally the first pass it's just ever so slightly rough while well, the coating smooths out a bit I don't know how it works but it's still smooth Scent strength on this is pretty much spot on. I'm smelling it all the time. I thought it was a bit uniform the scent, but it's not. There's a, a quite a bit of spices and herbs and stuff going on in here. Yeah, it's a really nice soap. Does it feel as nice as the Derby Extra did? So far. I don't know whether that will change with the progression of the shave. Residual slickness is okay. It's not great. It's definitely not great. But I'm pulling the blade over there and it's just sliding, so that's good. It didn't feel great, but it's obviously there. There's obviously some sort of nice residual slickness there after the first pass. I'm just going to whip this bowl just a little bit more and then we'll scoop out some more. Look at that. It's a stunning lather. I cannot, you can't grumble with the lather. I've been on a bit of a Canadian kick the past few days. Sean was very kind to send over some really nice Canadian products. Soapy Bath Man and First Canadian Shave Company. And then there was on steel obviously. Which for me as the overall package is pretty much number one soap for me in the world so far. This stuff just lathers successionally. Let it itch on my face. There we go. There's no reaction to it either, which is nice. I'm not getting any any tingle, any itch, any burn, nothing whatsoever.
and we are still in the midst of pretty much the worst winter what is it? it's the worst winter I've experienced in Australia since we arrived here in 2007 it has rained pretty much non-stop for the last three or four weeks and before then pretty much two or three times a week Yeah, the blade's shaving nice and smooth now. I know there's not a lot of hair left, but it's not rough or anything anymore. I've got over that rough stage with it, so I'm getting a nice smooth pull across the hair, and I'm not even feeling it now, which is great. Turn into this water out, it's filthy. The lather is just sitting in this bowl and it is not budging, it's not dissipating, it's not. So I've already pumped on three amazing lathers and I've still got that much left in the bowl. So that gives you a real good insight for how good this soap is. The scent, I just love the scent. Sean obviously knows that I'm a big Club Cola fan. pairing this with a mild grooming aftershave today I'll be pairing it with frosted frankenlime in terms of just pure lather this is as good as anything I've lathered I've got to say even though I did it in a bowl this is as thick as dense as creamy and it's lovely to shave with is pretty much all the big artisans out there so I'm really impressed I'm sure this isn't a new formula I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty sure it's not a newish formula but I'm really happy with it I mean it's thick dense stuff it really is it's hard to be an air bubble in it Yeah, really impressed. That blade's really smoothed up now. The build up for the residual slickness now is beautiful. Really, really thick layer of protection on there now that I could just shave my whole face with and not worry about it. But I am going to pop a little bit more lather on on the lips around the it just to finish off. And as you can see, there's still shit tons of lather. Now I did take a reasonably good scoop out of the tub to put in. When I'm bowl lathering I don't scrimp and save soap, I just chuck way more in than I need. Similar to Don Young, they're over at Wet the Face. I just don't see the point in short selling yourself and making a subpar lather. Put enough in there that you make an amazing lather.
I think I've got one weaker there, it's just here from a whole shave, can't whinge at that. Well, there's not many things better than a cracking splash of cold water at the end of a shave, I tell you. Right, just going to rinse the brush out there. That weather outside is atrocious. I am working today, I'm riding trains tonight, which isn't too bad. I've been the lovely warmth of the trains, but for the first few hours I would be. The first few hours I'll be stood out in this freezing cold wind and rain. But, as long as everyone's safe and everyone gets to where they're going, I've done my part, hot or cold. Okay, I'm back. I just got a phone call there from one of the dubious Indian companies or wherever the freak they're from, the Duma tits in. Do you want to buy insurance? Do you want to buy insurance? Wankers. So they are. And I, I don't know what accent that was. <laughs> Fuck knows what accent that was. Okay, so the soap today was... Actually, no. I'm going to finish off with this first. Let this work and do its magic while I'm talking. Moil grooming. Frankenline aftershave and this one is frosted just down here it says frosted there is the ingredients list if you want to have a look at them exact same as all the other four or the three sorry give them a really good shake and then three splashes in the hand i go with straight out the bottle just for a comparison scent if you've smelled castle forbes essential oil of lime it is a bang on that scent so if you love the scent of castle forbes essential oil of lime this stuff is absolutely spoiling for that. So one, two, three. That burn, the burn's got the menthol. Oh yeah. Now Sean has formulated this with the menthol in there. And the amount of menthol in it is absolutely spot on. My face is freezing already. It's just awesome. I <laughs> can't, can't talk up enough. That lime scent. Oh, it's really nice. The menthol does mix with it, so you do get the menthol. If you don't like the smell of menthol, or you don't like menthol at all, don't get the frosted version. But if you want that cool kick with a little bit of the scent, it's stunning. It is absolutely stunning. So the soap today was Sudsy Soapery Cola. I believe, from what I can see on it, it looks like it was made in Belleville, Illinois, I think. The writing is so, so small to read, but you've got... Ponified stearic acid, coconut of the menthol is making my eyes water. Coconut oil, castor oil, cocoa butter, cocoa butter, shea butter, lanolin, USP with rasul, I'm assuming that's the clay, I think. Glycerin, veg vegetable glycerin, USP, sodium lactate, and essential oils. What's well, essential oils? It's in here, right. Well, they've done a phenomenal job getting that scent of essential oils. I don't know what they've mixed to make that scent, but it smells incredible. What a shave, I tell you. Brush Guy Brush from Matt Martin over in the States. He is now a retired, well, retired from the Navy. He makes beautiful brushes. I'm gutted that he doesn't make them anymore. I don't know really <coughs> what went down and what happened. It was almost like he was really enjoying what he was doing and then boom, I'm not making them anymore. So I don't know whether there's something behind the scenes that happened or I really don't know. I think there was a bit of animosity between a few people. I don't know what happened, but it's a shame that he's gone. I'm glad I've got one, but it's a shame that he's gone and no one else can. The Saponificio Varicino Shaving Grail. So as you can see, there is the label on it. It's all wood construction. It's got a beautiful handle to hold. You can just hold that handle like that. It's not going anywhere. It's a two-piece razor. Two-piece razor. It's a two-piece bowl. So it actually comes apart in two. And then for travelling, for storage, you can pop it in backwards, like so. And your bowl can actually travel in, in storage a lot better. If you're going abroad and you want to take it with you, it does actually sort of fold down into a smaller unit. 
so it's really nice, it's got a great weight to it and you've obviously got your, in the inside here you've got all your banana leafing let me see what's the best lighting you can probably just see just round here all the roughness up here round the outside of the bowl and then you've got your dimples in here and obviously the little raised part on the inside for making your lather that lather I made there was as good as any lather I face lather so I was really impressed with it just an exceptional lather the razor of choice was once again the Carve razor Christopher Bradley razor from Carve brand new Derby premium blade in there I've got the 3 inch handle the C plate which is 0.85 in the blade gap so it sounds reasonably medium efficiency medium aggressiveness but it's super super mild it feels almost similar to a plate 2 on a Rockwell with the feel of the plate 4 or 5 around about there so the actual efficiency I mean you don't feel the blade it's smooth with nearly every blade this is a by no means a classy classy razor blade it's it's a good good little razor blade but it's not one that I recommend to people but it's made that razor really really good by the end of the shave first pass was a bit rough but it's second pass onwards it really smoothed out so I'll keep that blade to the side I will use it again see what it feels like on a second use but I tell you what that menthol is freezing Woo! the weather's freezing over here so I don't know why the hell I'm using mentholated balm but I can smell the lime now but it's not much there's not a strong strong scent of lime but lime is a quick dissipating scent the great thing with this one is I'll be able to get away with this using my splash or whatever I put on afterwards my cologne or whatever for going to work won't be overpowered by the scent of the soap at all or the scent of this splash and the splash itself was moil grooming made in Canada with awesome ingredients by Sean Mullen who's a really really nice guy he sent over a hell of a lot of stuff over here to me a lot of money's worth of stuff including the shipping as well because I know what shipping's all about even sending it by boat it still costs a fair bit so thanks again Sean for sending it over your products are awesome mate and you'll more than likely make it into pretty much all of my shaves in terms of mix and match with whatever soap that I use just brilliant product post shave feels exceptional my skin feels and for me personally it looks better than it's looked for a long long time since I've started this using this stuff I'm not saying it's just this my technique and the razor and stuff helps but my skin hasn't felt and looked this good for a long time so I'm really really happy at the moment so with that Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive and I'll catch you guys. <laughs>